Hi, I'm Eric with Stepcraft, and today in this video, we're going to answer one of the most common questions we get when somebody's interested in buying a Stepcraft CNC machine, and that is, what spindle should I buy for my application? Now, some people will even ask if they need a spindle at all, and unless your intention is to buy a Stepcraft machine to use the drag knife or one of our non-rotary applications, then the answer is yes, you do need to get a spindle with it. We don't include one because there's a variety of different applications and there's five different spindle options that we offer. So depending on what you're looking to do with your machine, we'll determine which of these spindle choices are going to be best for your application. Now, I'm going to take you through each of the spindles and then we'll talk about why that particular spindle might be good for a specific job as opposed to something else that's here in front of me. Now the first spindle we're going to talk about is the Dremel 4000. This is a, a widely available hobby home craft spindle that's available at most big box stores and certainly online anywhere between $80 to $130 depending on what kit you buy it with. Now it's a pretty powerful AC spindle. It has variable speed control and uh, on off button uh, here as well as a lock so that you can uh, take the bit on and off. And it comes with an eighth inch collet so you can use a wide variety of eighth inch end mills and different rotary bits. Now, Stepcraft provides this uh, adapter ring, which is 1995, and what you do is you thread it onto the end of the Dremel, and then it allows you to fit this into the tool holder on the Stepcraft machine. Now, the Dremel is a good device for, I want to say light materials, balsa wood, light plywood. If you're a model hobbyist, like a model airplane or boat builder, this is a good tool for that. It'll do light plastic work. Uh, you really don't want to push this though. That's the problem. If you're doing hardwoods or sign making or aluminum or um, a lot of plastic work, you'll find that the, the bearings and the motor in this are going to be very short lived. It's not meant to do a very strenuous application. So the Dremel's good. Like I said, if you're going to do foam, plastic, light plastic, light plywood or balsa wood, this is a great option and it's very inexpensive, $20 for our adapter and anywhere between $80 and $130 for the Dremel and you've got yourself a nice spindle. Now, the next step up from the Dremel would be the Proxon. Now, the Proxon looks a lot like the Dremel, um, but it's, in my opinion, this is the model IBSE. In my opinion, it's a much higher quality spindle than the Dremel 4000. Uh, it's about the same power but the bearings in this are much more rigid and it, it, it'll do a lot more precise work for a longer period of time. So if you're doing PC board work, again, if you're doing the balsa light plywood, plastic, hobby grade stuff, this is a very good option. The problem with the Proxon is that they're not easy to find here in the United States. So it, you're gonna have a hard time going to a big box store and buying one of these. You'd have to order it online and there's very few places that will actually support it. So that could be a concern. Now we do make an adapter for the same $20, except this one's not threaded and it's meant to go onto the Proxon and this too will fit right into the tool holder. We also make a 90 degree adapter, which is kind of cool. It allows you to mount the Proxon on the machine this way so that you can engrave or cut into the side of an object that might be mounted on your step craft. So if that's something that you want to do, this is an option that you should take a look at. Now the next option would be, moving up in the line, is the DeWalt DW611 trim router. Again, this is widely available at most big box stores. You can buy them online, Amazon, uh, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, those are good places to get it. This is a pretty powerful uh, trim router. It's very, very popular in the DIY CNC world. And um, we have some competitive machines that are out there that this is what they use as their sole uh, spindle for their machine. Now, a couple things that I don't like about this spindle. Uh, the first thing is it comes with a quarter inch collet. So if you want to use eighth inch tools, which you will, because that's the most common size in this realm, in this CNC uh, area for carving, cutting, and detail work, you have to go out and buy a replacement collet uh, and it comes with a nut. It's about 30 bucks to get that. So then you can just switch it and you can use quarter inch and or eighth inch with the DeWalt. The other thing that I don't like about this is it exhausts from the bottom. So the fan draws air in through the top to cool it and it comes out of the bottom. 
Now what that means is that as you're cutting, it's, oh, there's a large force of air that's blowing debris and, and dust everywhere. So we don't really have an exhaust adapter to go on this to hook up to a shop back, but there are a lot of people that have had some DIY ones out there that will work fine. Um, the third or the last option or thing that I don't like about this is you have to use a special bracket. So because of the size of the DeWalt, we have this bracket that we've designed. And what this does is this replaces the stock bracket that's on the machine. So to use a DeWalt, you remove the three screws on the bottom and replace it with this bracket. Now, if you're only going to use the DeWalt to just do woodwork or CNC work only, and you're not going to use the other attachments, then this might be a good option for you because you'll put this bracket on and you'll leave it there and the DeWalt's in the machine and you're, you're fine. There's, there's no, no issues there. But if you're looking to change between uh, the spindle and a drag knife or a 3D printer or any one of our options, you're going to have to remove this bracket every time as opposed to just loosening this screw and taking the spindle out completely. So that's something that you want to be aware of. Um, a lot of people, if you've got a CNC and you've been using the DeWalt, they, they like that. It's very powerful. Like I said, it's easy to get. DeWalt's a good company. It's a good quality piece. It's just the, um, the dust and debris and the fact that you have to use a separate bracket kind of make it not the best choice in my mind, but we certainly support that if that's what you want to do. Now the next step up is this device right here. This is a Crest. It's an 800 watt AC spindle. Very, very high quality, German made. Um, the bearings on it are much bigger than the DeWalt. It has very, very little run out. It's a super accurate spindle. Uh, I've cut everything with this from light balsa wood all the way up to machining aluminum for long periods of time for big aluminum jobs. It comes with both an eighth and a quarter inch collet, so you have the ability of using both types of tools. Uh, the Crest, like the other three over here, has a speed control on it and a manual button for starting and stopping. So you would have to, on any of these, start the spindle and set the speed before you start running your job. So that's something to be aware of, that these are all manual and you would have to go in and know, kind of know where you want to start the RPM. And certainly while the job is running, you can just adjust this to get the RPM where you want it to be. Uh, but that is something that's a downside with these units here. The Cress is 269, which is about $20 less than buying a DeWalt DW611, the bracket, the collet, and everything else that you need. So it's a comparable price uh, for the Stepcraft machine, but one of the things that's really nice is it has a 43 millimeter collar on it. So this fits directly into the Stepcraft machine uh, in the existing tool holder. And we have an exhaust adapter that is built for this that you can hook up to a shop vac to remove debris as you're cutting. So it's a very, very good option. It's a solid spindle, a lot of power, perfect for anything from hardwoods, plastics, and like I said, it'll even do aluminum. So this is something that is a strong contender. We sell a lot of them. Uh, and I would seriously put this on your wish list if you're looking at these other three. This might be the solution depending on the types of work that you're gonna be doing. So the last option that we have is our HF 500 spindle. Now this is a step craft spindle and I can remove this here by simply loosening up our quick release and this comes right off of the machine and I'll hold it here to show you. So this is a deep brushless DC motor driven spindle. It's 500 watts and it's completely computer controlled. So what that means is that you can set the RPMs that this is going to run at in the software. So you could say, okay, I want to run at 12,500 RPM and not only will it run at that speed, but the circuitry inside the control box will maintain that speed under various loads. So it, you'll, it'll always do its best to maintain that preset RPM. Because it's computer controlled as well, it's gonna start and stop with the job. So you don't have to worry about hitting a button or setting the RPMs manually. Everything is automatic in the software. So in the Vetric program, you can simply tell it what RPM for that given tool that you're going to run and when you press start the spindle starts does the job and then it stops now another thing with this spindle that's nice is we have the world's first automatic tool changer for a uh, cnc machine 
that's in this size caliber. So that attaches to the bottom and there's a rack that goes on the back of the machine. So now you can actually load up up to 10 tools on the back of the step craft and the, tell the software which tool you want to use for that part of the job and it will automatically return the tool, pick up the next tool and continue cutting without you doing anything. It's completely automated. Now the HF500 comes with a control box that's interfaced to the back of this step craft using a serial cable and this is how it communicates to tell it uh, what the speed and whether it should be on or off. That's what this box is for. So you would need to have this. It comes with the spindle and it sits alongside your machine. Now you can manually control the start and stop and the RPM if you want using the controls on the front, but 99% of the time you're going to use what this, what's in the software for that. The uh, HF500 has a variety of different collets that you can use. Eighth inch, three sixteenths, quarter inch are the most popular here in the States, but we also have metric ones as well. So they're quick to adjust. It has a locking pin on the side so that you can use a wrench to remove the, the tool. And we have an air inlet on the side. So the HF500 comes with a small air compressor and it pumps air through the spindle to keep the bearing cool and keep debris out of the, uh, out of the motor. So this is another very, very popular. It's actually our most popular spindle. Most of the machines that we sell, we sell with the HF500. It's 679. So there is about a $400 difference between this spindle and the Crest. So that's why depending on what you're going to be doing, the Crest and the HF kind of go hand in hand. So if you're looking to do a lot of woodworking, plastics, maybe some aluminum, the Crest is a really good option. If you don't mind having the manual controls, if you want everything to be fully automated or you're looking at potentially adding the HF spindle or the HF 500 tool changer down the road, then this is the option that I recommend to go with. So most of our applications are using these two spindles and very often we have people that will go with the Dremel 4000. The, the uh, DeWalt and the Proxon are more specialty, but again, we can support any of them. So again, what you need to ask yourself is, do I want a fully automated spindle? Do I want to be able to type in the RPM? Am I looking at the possibility of adding a tool changer later. If you answer those yes, then I would say go with the HF. Additionally, if you're doing a lot of plastic and a lot of aluminum work, the HF is really good because you can vary the RPMs to get your speeds and feeds exactly where they need to be. The Crest will allow you to do it, but because it's a dial, you're gonna be you know, a few hundred to a thousand RPM off, depending on where you have it set. So hopefully this video helped you out and explains a little bit more about which spindle that you're going to use with your stepcraft. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call 203-556-1856. Just dial the sales extension or you can ask for support and they'll be able to help you out as well.